Yeah, so at about 1.30 we took a call of a domestic incident uh, involving an upstairs tenant at the address here on Liberty Street and uh, information was relayed to the patrols that were responding that the uh, subject barricaded himself in the upstairs apartment. The uh, female victim was able to leave. Uh, we were able to get the, uh, the apartment secured or the scene uh, perimeter established and uh, started to try to negotiate with the sub subject upstairs. Um, unfortunately, he is unwilling to speak with us at this time, so the officers have uh, just been trying to determine what the next steps are going to be. Uh, the, the, there was a report that he had um, swung a sword or was swinging a sword either at the victim or at the general public. Uh, he was using a BB pistol or a BB rifle, a BB gun of some sort to shoot at the officers on their perimeter points, uh, pellet gun or BB gun. And obviously we don't know for sure if that's the only access he has to weapons in the residence so we did uh, ask the residents in the area and the surrounding area to shelter in place uh, contacted the school district they decided to put the, the school uh, Jackson school on lockdown um, so we worked with the school district to uh, get the kids released from school once we were confident that we had the subject contained to the uh, residents um, and it wouldn't be uh, any further danger to um, you know, the surrounding houses at that point. So uh, the officers are still trying to talk to him, try to negotiate him, uh, negotiate him out uh, to try to get him to surrender peacefully. Uh, our emergency response team has been activated and I, and I do believe that they're trying to make entry into the residence to uh, get him into custody. Uh, however, he does pose a threat and we do not want, we have to take it very seriously, so we don't want to put anybody in harm's way.